Hi, I'm Spencer Schloss, Sports Media Assistant here at Cal State Fullerton, and today I'm joined by Cross Country Head Coach John Elders. Coach Elders, welcome. Thank you. Coach, you're entering your 26th season as the head coach of the Cross Country and Track programs, making you the longest tenured coach here at Cal State Fullerton. What does that mean to you? Oh, gosh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it, the, the more I think about it, the more I just think about all the great uh, memories, you know, that I've had, and to coach at my alma mater, and uh, have so many great, build so many great relationships over the years and so many great, uh, per, you know, athletes that I've had the opportunity to coach and not just from an athletic standpoint, but just on a personal level. And uh, that's what I think about the most. And then, you know, all the great people I've worked with here and it just, it doesn't seem like 26 years at all. It's been gone by so fast. And uh, so it's, 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 it's neat. It's a neat time for me. Awesome. So, so last season, the women finished seventh at the Big West Championship. Um, you return Katie Bathgate and sophomore Emily Taylor. Uh -huh. um, what do they mean, and what other returners do you see making impact this season? Yeah, uh, yeah. Emily led the way for us last year uh, through the through the regular part of the season. Then she sustained an injury, so she did not compete for us at the Big West meet or the NCAA West Region meet. So that greatly impacted, you know, the success of our team at those meets. And so having her healthy this year would be a huge uh, bonus and. Uh, um, she started off last year really, really strong and then had the injury at the end. So this year she's maybe not quite uh, in the shape she was at this point last year, but our hope is that she'll improve throughout the year and then really peak at the end. So uh, I'm excited about her and uh, Katie as well just continues to improve and um, she was our top finisher at the Big West meet last year. So she, we're expecting her to be up front for us. And then um, uh, the other two that would be worth mentioning returners would be Lauren McIntyre, who's uh, our lone senior. Uh, and Lauren was an outstanding uh, high school runner um, and uh, hasn't had the kind of performance we've hoped over the last few years, but she's really rededicated herself. And uh, I'm excited about her potential uh, this year um, to really help our team. And probably really the girl to watch for is our leader is uh, Anna Valdivinos. And Anna was the top uh, runner at our team time trial last weekend. Um, and she's trained really hard this summer. She's our team leader. Uh, she's our, uh, one of our, her and Lauren uh, McIntyre serving as our team captains. And Anna's definitely uh, could be not only our leader, um, uh, but also lead the way, you know, out on the course. So look for her. You made a lot of additions to the roster this season. Mm -hmm. um, what newcomers do you see? Um making a big impact. Yeah, we have a lot of new kids coming in and, uh, you know, there's uh, definitely going to be a lot of competition, uh, you know, with those four returners and then there's th basically, you know, three spots for the top seven left and uh, I think there's going to be a really great competition for those spots and uh, um, the girl with the best time, high school times uh, is Ariana Fuentes. She's from Catella High School. Uh, she was an under 5'10 miler in high school and uh, um, really has a lot of potential in cross. She didn't run great in cross in high school, but she's already kind of stepped up and kind of uh, distinguished herself from the rest of the group the new, uh, in terms of the newcomers. So I really look for her to be, lead the way with the newcomers. And then Amanda Christinger, who's from uh, Vista Murrieta High School, uh, she has uh, the best cross country times in high school, and uh, so she should be in the mix. And then uh, added to that, we have uh, Abby Buckoff from um, Golden Valley High School and um, Michelle Botello from Canyon High School in Anaheim. Uh, and then there's, a, there's some girls after that, that uh, both returners and um, newcomers that will compete for those spots as well. So it's going to be a deep, deep team, much deeper than last year. So Let's move on to the men's side. Um, they also finished seventh last year at the Big West Championship. Uh -huh. Um, you return uh, Anth uh, Jason Perez and uh -huh. Brandon Perry. Um, uh -huh. What other returners do you see making impact? Yeah, um, definitely Jason uh, uh, is our you know top returning guy. He's got a lot of talent. Uh, he's battled a few injuries and stuff like that. So hopefully, if he can stay healthy, he'll be uh, up up near the front for us. And uh, Brandon Perry, you mentioned we call him BP. Um, he's in in great shape uh, and really um, can make a big impact for us. The other two guys, returning guys, I think to watch are uh, Jeff Little, uh, who is a sophomore um, out of Villa Park High School, and Donald Bernard, uh, who's from uh, Reno, Nevada. And uh, both those guys are in great shape, and uh, Donald actually led the way uh, for us in the time trial last Saturday. So um, those, those guys are definitely, those four guys would be the core returning, returning guys. 
I mean, you tout this as one of your best recruiting classes. Mm -hmm. Which underclassmen do you see making a, an impact this season? Yeah, I mean, there's like, you know, eight to ten guys, you know, <laughs> that could really impact it. Just to highlight a few, uh, we have uh, three guys that that uh, all ran around 915, 9, 9.16 in the 3200 last season in track. Uh, Jose Peñaloza from Godinas High School. And uh, Jose was uh, uh, one of the top uh, finishers in Division II in the state last year, uh, as was Sam Garcia, who's from Arroyo High School. He was only uh, like a few seconds behind Jose at the state meet as well in Division II. Uh, and, um, and then we have uh, Gilbert Solorza from Buena Park, who ran like a 414, 1600, and like a 916, 3200. So, uh, those three guys, you know, have great credentials. Uh, and then we have Dalton Hall from Modern Day, who was a very strong middle distance uh, runner uh, last year at Modern Day and ran like a 415, 1600. And uh, uh, so um, those guys uh, definitely um, are going to be in the mix to have an impact. And there's a couple, of, I mean, there's like four or five other guys. Uh, uh, Danny Ramirez, who was uh, Gilbert's teammate uh, at Buena Park, uh, was one of the top guys in the time trial. Um, uh, and uh, Christian Egan from Ayala High School, um, also a guy that could that could break in the top seven. So, you know, the, the, and there's there's a couple guys after that. So it's going to be a fun year to see how you know things pan out. So, uh, any expectations for the men and women this season? Yeah, I mean, we definitely uh, should improve uh, significantly from last year. Um, you know, uh, the the both teams. Uh, you know, or the, especially the men are very, very young, and the women, you know, the, with the exception of those, you know, returning gals are very, very young. So it'll be interesting to see how we develop. But I think that uh, we're definitely going to see better uh, conference and regional performances from both squads. Um, but I, I, what I think is we have done is laid a foundation, you know, for really uh, taking the program to another level in the next few years. So. Um, this season, Titans will host two, uh, two meets, including the Mark Hover Classic this weekend. Mm -hmm. What other meets are you looking forward to this season and the competition you'll face? Yeah, there's, I mean, the, the schedule is kind of uh, a little bit different than it's been in the past. Uh, I'm looking forward to Fresno State, uh, the, a meet at Fresno State, where we'll be running in uh, Woodward Park, which hosts the California State High School Championships. And Woodward Park used to host uh, the NCAA West Region uh, Championships uh, regularly. Um, they're doing a little bit of a new course there, so that'll be uh, interesting. And then we'll get to see Cal Poly uh, there um, and Fresno State, uh, I believe San Jose State. So it's a small, small meet, but it's going to be a good test for us early. Uh, the men will run an odd distance. They're going to run four miles uh, there, so that'll be interesting. Uh, probably the biggest mid-season challenge for us will be the uh, Hornet Jamboree, uh, hosted by Sacramento State. It's kind of a preview of the NCA West Region uh, uh, Championships. And so I think almost the entire Big West uh, uh, will be there, uh, in addition to a lot of the Pac-12 schools and WCC schools. And so there'll be a, a big representation um, from uh, the West Region at that meet. So that'll be a really good test for us. The Titans uh, start the 2013 cross country season this Saturday at Carbon Canyon Park in the Mark Covert Classic. Mm -hmm. Coach, good, good luck this season and thanks for your time. All right, thank you.